So hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial I'm going to talk about something on PayPal integration in Django. So let's get started. So I've opened my Visual Studio code. I'm going to open the terminals to view terminals. Then I want to create a Django project. So in this part, first part of the tutorial, I'll create a Django project. So it will be basically a very simple project. Then in the second part of the tutorial, I'll integrate PayPal in the project. So let's dive in. So I've basically created a folder in my desktop. Let me show you. So I've created a folder. It's currently empty. So we're going to start uh, coding. So I've opened the folder in Visual Studio Code. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a virtual environment. And to do that, we'll go down the command Python dash m in env. Then the name of the virtual environment in this case is the env. Press enter. Okay, you can see here a folder has been created with the name VENV. So the next thing will be to activate that project. So with that virtual environment, so let's give it some time to load. I think it's creating the folders inside the env that we will need to activate our virtual environment. Okay, it's done. The next thing is to activate the virtual environment. So to do that in Windows, you will find the command dash. You can do the env. But it's run or if so you sub it dot vnv the folder then inside that folder you have another folder called scripts then inside the scripts folder you have activate a file called activate so if you move inside this you have the scripts then you have activate so we are running this to activate the virtual environment and this is how you do it press enter Okay, you'll see a bracket here with the name of the virtual environment. Now you can start our project. So run Django. Uh, sorry, we'll first install Django. So we install Django. Press enter. It should take long. So give us some time. We're still uh, installing the packages that come with Django and Django itself. So you can see installing collected packages. Make sure you are in your virtual environment while doing this. So you don't interfere with the file sync system of the package. So successfully installed. Next thing is to create a project. So Django dash admin. The command for creating project is Django slash admin. Uh, start project. Then the project name, I'll name it uh, Django PayPal. Django underscore PayPal. Then space, then put a dot in the end. Don't forget to do that. I want the uh, the folders generated in this command to be in my current directory. If you don't put that dot, it will create another directory called Django PayPal. Then inside it, 
then we run the directory called Django paper with the projects. We don't want that, so put a dot in the end. Click enter. Give it some time. So that's it. So you can check your project by running the command Python mesh.py run server. So you can do this after creating the project. Then you can see how we can apply migrations. You know that we fix it for this one. So let's first see our project. So in the terminal, you'll see this link starting development server. At this you can control click, control then click, press the control button in your keyboard, then click then. Can select if you already have a default, if you just go directly. So, as you can see, the install worked successfully. Congratulations! Now you can go to the next step. So, the next step is to create an app, or let's fix this error first. So, then you cancel, then Python manage the PI migrate. That will fix those errors. So next time if we run Python manager run server, we will not see this red error. So basically it's an issue with the database. Okay, once that has been done, you can clear the terminal then. If you run Python manage run server. So this run server, you should now not see the errors okay you want to see the error okay that's fixed let's go to the next thing so the next thing will be to create an app so my app i, I name my app payment so uh django sorry mm, sorry not we use python manager so python manage the pi uh, step up in the name of the app so i want to name my app payments yeah uh, in this one you don't put a dot in the end because we want the uh, results of this command to be saved inside the payments directory so you don't put the dot in the end if you put the dot in the end it might ignore the payments and generate the folders and files here so just do it like this the dot was just for the project for the app you don't put the dot then press enter okay we have a folder here named payments so once you have a folder named payments you should add it to your settings that py installed apps so go to installed apps then below it Add your new app so I can name it. Let me get to add comments. So, my apps, then under my apps, I want to put uh -huh. payments. Payments. Then you can put a comment then for safety. And uh, also, one we, we have to add urls.py in the app. So, currently, the app doesn't have urls.py file. So, that's what we are going to do next. So, create a folder inside the image. So, new folder, no, not folder file. Sorry, file named urls.py. Press enter. Then inside this folder, we want to put some code that is almost similar to the URLs in the project. So I want to write them from scratch. I'll just copy them from here and paste. Then I'll remove the parts that are not needed. So we don't need the admin. Then I don't need this one here. I only need that. I can, use, I can give an empty list here. Okay, so that's done for the app 
configuration and can go to the next thing so the next thing i want to move to the models so go to models with pure and we want to structure our database so for that we'll use a class class so product i want to get a something like a shop but it's not an actual shop so i just want to demonstrate how to use paypal uh how to integrate paypal in django so it won't be coding a big project it's just a simple one so we continue so product model let me turn off the copilot of recommendations for now disable completions okay models dot model Let me see functions. I pipe it. So disable of oh, disable. Reload will be required. So let me reload the Visual Studio Code. Okay, now you can continue without being disrupted disrupted by Visual by Copilot. So so we are continuing the class so so the class model will contain the following fields so name which will be models dot chart field is chart field capital F then uh, with the max length of Excellent of uh, 55. Then next is our uh, price, another field for the product model, this which is models dot decimal field, decimal field but with max digits. So 10. And this one will persist. Plus and equal to two. So the first two fields won't be that necessary for this integration, but this one will be very important quantity is what I will be modifying when someone makes a payment. So quantity models dot city vintage field. So for this project, I want uh, I want it to be like when someone purchases a product, the quantity of the product in the database uh, reduces by one. So let's continue. So there's a function STL. So this will basically style the name of the model in the admin section and in the rm return self dot e okay now we've created a database we must run my make migrations and migrate so python manage dot clear make migrations So I'll uh, I'll uh, add the link to this repository in the description section. If you already know how to do this, you want to be it would be necessary to follow along this first part of the tutorial. Just jump to the next where I integrate Django. But if you don't understand, you can follow along from the first tutorial then. To get an understanding of what is going on then you can jump into the next one here yeah? integrate paper so product I'm sorry python the next thing is to migrate 
Nugget. Basically, this command means we are running Python. We are running this file, so as you can see, we have a file here named nugget.py. Uh, we are running. We are using it to run migrations, which is one of the functionalities in Django. So this is like an entry point to all this code. Okay. Now that we've done that, we can check our, our model in the admin. So before I do that, let me add it to the admin. So payments go to the admin.py. Then we will import that model. So from dot models because they are in the same folder admin and models so you use dot models import so product so then you can register with the the admins so admin dot site dot register then product so that's the only way that you can register it. Then we can see it in the admin section. So to access the admin page, we have to create a super user. So Python manage.py create super user. So we'll ask if yes, the username I can put it in. Then email address, I do not just press enter. Then password, one, two, three, four. You can put a stronger password, I just want to use that. So one, two, three, four. Then it will be, it will tell me the password is too short, too common, and entirely numeric. I want to ignore that, so by pass password validation, I'll click yes, why? Then it's done. Then uh, now you can run the project again, Python manage. From server, sorry, the center. Okay, we go to one to seven, then we go to admin slash admin. You'll see, then you can log in with pin one, two, three, four. Okay, you'll we'll see products and currently I have no product. You can I can add a product so name let's say book price uh, let's say in the three point zero zero then quantity let's put ten then remember this quantity very well here is ten so this is what we are going to test the paper with so i'll save it now we have book if you click book you'll see the pins okay that's it for that what else can we do so i want to uh, view this product in the front end side so to do that I will let's just do that other part in the next part of this tutorial. So for this part and just stop at that. I don't want to make it very long so. Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for part two. Thank you. Uh, also, don't forget to click that subscribe button, like and share. Thank you once more.